Hello, 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 and welcome back. And sorry that my voice today is a bit strange. I just, I have, I'm a bit sick, so um, I'm at home taking it a bit easy. And this time we have uh, actually this list on time. So here's the top 10 of banknote auctions this July from um, mostly Heritage and Spink. I think actually mostly Spink. That was the largest auction this year. There's a few from Heritage. So 10th most expensive one will go into right into India, or actually this is Hong Kong. Uh, but uh, pick 236 from the Mercantile Bank of India, Hong Kong. It's strangely enough, nowadays ungraded in, in one of these auctions. This should be a very good plus to fine minus. Um, it's a beautiful banknote. We don't see here the bank, but it's beautiful. This went for four thousand two hundred pounds, which is uh, around five thousand five hundred dollars. Which is also exactly what came out of the next one, which is um, also from the same auction, Iraq, a color trial specimen from a banknote that, although being not super common, is also not really the most expensive banknote and the most difficult banknote to find. Big 55 is so a specimen, color trial specimen, also for the same amount. Eighth most expensive one, this came from um, Heritage Auction, so that's Pakistan, big number one in PMG 64. These banknotes are highly, um, uh, yeah, faked because a lot of, not a lot of people, but there's some forgers that basically just take the one rupee from India as a base and then just add the overprint from Pakistan, making it very uh, valuable. Uh, I wouldn't touch this one without, yeah. So back to Iraq, uh, 4,800 pounds was for another color trial specimen in seventh place. This one from uh, the pick 29, which is also a much harder pick to get with the 55. It's also PMG 62, so here's something that you don't see now. Sixth most expensive one, and I normally do not put the US banknotes uh, in this rankings because I think it's a ranking on their own, but this was from um, in the same auction as Pink, so basically heritage uh, divides between. US or North America uh, banknotes and uh, the other world banknotes. This one is a bit different. So here's two specimens, and I have to admit, I, I don't collect US banknotes so much. I do have a few, of course, but um, I have never seen specimens. Uh, so two of them PMG 62 and 63, the 100 and the 50 bucks from the 60s, from the late 60s. Um, 5,500 pounds. At fifth place, um, another specimen, this time from uh, the 10 pound from Australia, uh, pick 32. Uh, this banknote does come quite often to auctions in not um, specimen, so it's, it's something that we see often. And fourth place, and this is of course, this auction had a lot of banknotes from Iraq in trial specimens and color trial specimens. So this is pick 31 um, and almost uncirculated PMG 58, 8,000 pounds. We're getting close to the end and pick number three is uh, India, 20Q, uh, pick 20Q, 100 rupees, uh, almost uncirculated, 8,500 pounds for this one. They do appear, they always have like some faults here and there. I think this one is also from Karashi, that's why it's, uh, it has this premium. And then the next, and then pick number two, every time that there's Zanzibar banknotes, they make it to the list. So this is pick number one in the very fine format, uh, or very fine graded, uh, 10,000 pounds. So that was the, yeah, the lowest estimate. Uh, it's repaired, but of course these banknotes go for quite a premium. And first one, um, Portuguese India specimen, uh, PMG 64, although I do see some faults here and some uh, darkening. Uh, one of the most beautiful banknotes ever in my 
in my opinion. Portuguese India, pick 29, this time in specimen. This one for 11,000 pounds, if only I had the money. Um, beautiful banknote. And yeah, that's it for the month of July. Next week, we're going to have the same, but for uh, banknotes from auction on eBay. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.